Hey friends, you must probably have heard about Italy is the only unique country in Europe that offers medicine in English. Like you will become a doctor by studying English course. Not only medicine English, it also gives full scholarship. Like it means it's 100% free if you are eligible. We are going to talk about later in this video what are the requirements for the eligibility of scholarship and all those things. So the thing is, if you are like finding it very hard to study medicine in English, english in like uk usa because that is unaffordable and if you are like trying to crack hard national exams of india or pakistan then it is literally right for you although it has got it has got again i'm saying it has got the requirement of that test that you are freaked about like uh, mcat and mdcat it has got imat uh, you must know about that imat is the exam that you need to uh, attempt for getting into any university that teaches medicine in English in Italy. So we will crack down this in later part of this video. So before moving on, my name is Sami. I am a second year medical student. I have been making content about IMAT from two years. So it's like a, it was a good journey. But uh, now we are going to talk about the whole process and all the things that you need to remember that you need to keep in your mind if you want to study medicine in English. What is the program? what are the requirements then we will talk about little bit i'm at and then we will talk about how you are going to avail scholarship so first three parts firstly we are going to talk about all the requirements and how you will be applying and all those things and secondly what is like the i'm at and what is like how you have to prepare and each and everything then later in last part we will talk about the scholarship and how you will be billing and what covers in scholarship like how much will be cost in at least studying medicine in english so uh, what will be expenses and what will be your tuition fee all those things so let's start with the first part so from 14 years italy has been offering medicine in english uh, it was like a very great thing because those students who cannot afford in uh, america or uk they approach italy and that's the like a very best solution for them and from all the students all around the globe because medicine is the only field or mbbs is the only field that has got very high competition Competition. not only i wouldn't say that's only there are like other fields that has got a competition but medicine is one among them that it has got a very high competition so the then after getting in the tuition fees are very high so from all those things if you want to get rid of those things then italy is the best thing so the medicine english in italy is being offered by 14 universities and this program is six year long it means that after completing these six years you will get the md degree uh, you will be that will be equivalent to masters as well so if you complete this degree after six years you will be getting md degree and that's uh, like cool and i li literally got to know about recently that if if it's in europe and if you like complete the six years of medicine then you will not have to attempt the plab plab is the uh, post graduation examination that you have to attempt after medicine um, when you are finished with uh, your medicine uh, basic medicine and you have to do plab if you want to work or you want to do job if you want to practice in uk so if you're graduated from italy you do not have to attempt that test that is very amazing so let's come back to our topic again if you are a european or non-european you can apply but before moving on remember this thing if you're non-european you can apply to only one university you will not have like choice to apply into uh, 15 16 universities but a european can apply to 15 to 16 as many universities as they want and they can like uh, they can select their choices okay my first choice is this second but non-european will select just one university that they, that will be their first and last choice they will be awarded admission in that specific university and they will be going to that university so they will get admission to that specific university they cannot change it they cannot do anything just except that university okay so remember this thing you will have to meet that criteria now let's come to the first thing that is application the non-european will be doing application through a specific website that is known as university the ID because that is the website from where you will be doing your uh, visa uh, stuff because when you put uh, your application there that will be sent to your university selected university and that will be sent to your embassy as well after verification from your university your university will verify your documents that you will attach with that application and after clearing that that you meet all the requirements they will send back to your embassy and they will say to you you will have to do the scholarship application and the second thing that is remaining visa or before visa you will have to do ahmed that is the requirement we are going to own that thing so 
and for non-european that is you will be applying you will be doing applications on university's website okay for example if you want to apply in university of messina or if you want to apply in university of torino you are going to uh, on that university website and you will like create your account you will upload all the requirement things all the required thing that university has demanded you will upload them and then the university will evaluate and they will send you an email that will contain the letter that you are pre-accepted and now you have to do uh, examination that is IMAT so you will do that if you pass it you will do your like a final enrollment in that university once you are done with the enrollment you will like uh, just fly to that thing but for non-european if you are doing IMAT exam if you pass it then you will have to like do enrollment just like european but you will have to do visa process we are going to talk later in this last part of video so i hope you guys got this thing in mind now let's move on to our that the final thing so i hope you guys got this thing and remember this thing ielts okay ielts examination is requirement for some university because some universities require that non-european or all uh, also europeans they should give ielts because um, and they have got a specific requirement that that is must be b2 that is 5.5 bands if you attempt academic ielts so that is 5.5 bands you have to get b2 level or 5.5 bands I literally know lots of about Simon because I have taught like four or five batches on campus okay on campus so we will talk in later on upcoming videos on my channel so do not worry about that I'm going to give you a very comprehensive and great information about IELTS because that's my literally very my expertise so uh, some universities require the IELTS so you have to check the specific requirements of that university and you have to like uh, confirm it from that university just email them they will not cost you a penny at all okay now for non-european that is a requirement because their embassy has got this requirement that you must present the IELTS examination for getting visa so just do go through your embassy's checklist because that's like a very problematic thing because after uh, you clear IMA, you do enrollment you will have like 10 to 14 days you cannot do IELTS in that although you can do a computer based examination if you can get it but you will not know about IELTS so that can be problematic so I would suggest if you have time in the beginning of the year when you are applying because this process can take you eight to nine months because you will have to do all the documentation attestation and um, arrangement of all documents and making passport and all those things so if you have got time in that thing must be pay for IELTS it's not hard it's easy it's like give it a go and you will get it okay if you know basic English and you have got a grip on listening if you watch movies in English and if you have got a like grip on uh, tracking keywords in the subject like because that is a re reading is a very comprehensive thing in uh, um, IELTS and that is considered the hardest thing and then there will be writing as well you will have to like do two tasks that is task one and task two task two is just like like uh, you have to write essay so I hope you know this thing but um, it's easy okay it's not hard you can do it it's not a rocket science literally it's not a rocket science so you can do it mm, but uh, I, I have like spoken a lot about this thing so now let's move on to the second thing I hope you guys got to know about the requirement the main thing okay when application do opens for medicine and surgery specifically the application opens in may okay may is the like a month although some university do open in march as well march april may these are the three months that they start opening but may is the like a specific month where all the applications open and you have to apply if you are a non-european you have to like uh, you have got a specific thing that uh, whenever the university uh, and 27 may i think is the date when you have to do pre-enrollment for any specific university if you're non-european for european the dates are different for every university you will have to like go to the website check the website and important thing okay for like uh, updates and all this thing i have got a channel okay uh whatsapp channel uh, below that's like i have created right now so just go and uh, like uh, follow it you will get all the information about time at universities dates each and everything that you need to know about studying medicine in english in uh, like uh, everything that's like uh, changes uh, with respect of time uh, ministry updates i will post in there so you will get everything on silver plate you just have to eat it okay eat it okay so I'll just go and although if you want to join the community for i'm at we will talk about later that will be in video description as well so now let's talk about uh, the second thing that is the main requirement that is going to be your IMAT. You have to do if you want to study your medicine in English, you, that is the like a single and foremost the best and the worst one requirement because that is a test. That's just simple. Just like if you have got if you're from India, you have seen the need. If you're from Pakistan, you have got seen the 
MD CAT and if you're from Canada, Australia and like uh, America, you have seen the MCAT. That is just like this and all other countries I do not know specifically about. So that is the like the requirement, main requirement and it's like uh, uh, the same thing, okay? It's not different it's just like literally not different the pattern can be different uh i'm going to i have like made a comprehensive content on this thing so do not worry about it i will mention you uh in the video description not mention you i will mention in the video description that uh, you can watch all those videos in like a sequence i will give a one link where you can go and article you will you can go watch the with the sequence from books and each and everything so but uh, one thing that is this test is like it has got like five sections yeah five sections that is general knowledge five questions and uh, five questions for uh, critical thinking like the logical reasoning and then there are 23 questions for biology okay and then there are 15 questions for chemistry and then uh, 13 questions for physics and math and so the major thing is the uh, science subjects and those are like pretty easy if you are like uh, if you have got grip on your uh, subjects from high school and that is literally most like high school if whatever you have studied in high school they're going to ask you they can ask you anything that will be mostly concepts so i hope you have studied well enough in your high school you have got a like a good go to your books and uh, your concept and straightforwardly uh, for, i forgot to talk in previous uh, section that is uh, how much marks actually you need in your high school to apply for medicine and surgery and th th that is very very important thing um, you can apply after high school okay after 12 years of education you can apply medicines and surgery in italy that is a, like a very very best thing uh, because in if you're from america or canada you have to do after like high school you have to do the bachelors and then you can apply for med school that is like a very worst thing but here it's like very very easy very very simple you just have to do the 12 years of education just uh, apply on uh, for italy attempt i man and then you will be in italy studying medicine in english so that's the like very the good thing i think that's a very good thing so uh, let's come back to again to armor so there are like uh, sections i have mentioned and these there are 90 marks 90 points out of which you have to get somewhere around 60 to 70 the like criteria has like risen so much earlier you had just to get like uh, 30 40 marks uh in like 2022 20, 2022 but uh, from like 2023 onward this has been risen and it has rise uh it has risen so much uh, i can it has literally it it has ro it has risen literally a lot uh, but uh, hopefully uh, this year because competition is not increasing competition is like staying uh, at 10000 to 15000 uh, are like competing for around 2000 seats yeah uh, if you like make up for european and non european there are like 4000 seats so they are competing for them i have made a video that will be in video description that you can watch or the AMA 2024 merit that I have explained everything how many students and how many seats and what was the reason everything so you can watch that and it, it will give you a very comprehensive guide on that thing so AMA is the requirement if you happen to get whatever the university that you have selected okay from previous section whatever the university you had selected if you meet the cutoff of that university for example if that university has got like 40 45 seats and out of the 45 student had got like 60 okay 60.1 was his score then he will be awarded admission all these all the below one like 60 59.9 will be not awarded admission so you have to get higher than 60.1 it means that you have to get the uh, more marks than the last student last year seed student has got that i hope that is like clear in your head now let's move on to the last section let's talk about how this medicine and english in italy is free so if you are from like underdeveloped countries or from any country from wherever you are you are non-european or european as well so if you think that you are not rich okay if you think that if you feel like from your father's income everything whatever you have got you are not rich if i sarcastically say if you do not have like a sort of big gadgets if you don't wear brands or <laughs> something like that why i'm so silly uh why i'm trying to like convey bad things no uh, let's come uh, without sarcastically if you think that you are not rich you are your parents income is not very high it's like less it's uh, somewhere like uh, average if you're from um, yeah you think that <laughs> boy i'm stressing so much on that you can go uh, and just like uh, see isc 
scale and you can calculate it just put uh, uh, the like uh, your parents income and all those things you will get that information that uh, whether you met the required uh, scholarship that i'm going to talk about i haven't talked about the scholarship but i'm getting all those things if you're poor or rich i think so this scholarship okay how it you will become free this is the scholarship that is need based scholarship or we uh, like specifically call it as regional scholarship this is the scholarship that uh, uh, that every not every student gets those like those those who are not rich i will not use the word poor those who are not rich will get this information this, this scholarship and uh, the requirement i have told you just go to that uh, like uh, calculator and calculate your uh, thing and you will get it okay so here you go if you um, if you apply for that scholarship because every region okay what uh, the, uh, the university that you are going to select will lie in different regions okay there are different regions that university will lie so you will have to apply on that region website you will get the scholarship okay if you meet the requirement they you will give your like uh, details of your parents your assets not your parents your parents income your uh, assets and how much tax you are paying if uh, once you give these like verified documents to them they will evaluate you and they will like respond you yeah you meet that and in that you will get like around about a fully covered scholarship that will cover your like tuition fee your accommodation and then your um, one-time meal as well and transportation will also be free okay transportation is very like not a bad thing because this in this era of time nobody travels they just like stick to the screens <laughs> but anyways you will get that as well uh here you go like uh, i hope you uh, got the perks that you will get in that scholarship so it's almost free but uh, there is thing there will be extra expenses that you will have to do by your own self like you will have to pay tax as well okay every year you will have to pay like 150 euros tax that uh, uh, that will be like that's not a very big deal you can ask to your parents hey send up i have to pay that so you will be doing that and then there are like extra expenses two time meals is also pending you will have to do that by yourself it means that and the thing is you can do you can work part time okay you can work part time and you can earn that uh, so you will be allowed uh, in one week 20 hours so you can do that no worries at all okay you can like manage it it means that it's actually free okay but nobody like gives a like uh, freaking anything uh, that uh, this actually 500 or 600 euros per month is uh, very expensive uh, if you do not get the scholarship like the university fee lies in between like 400 to 1200 euros okay university per year fee uh, like not per year per semester fee that lies between uh, 400 to uh, 1200 euros so you can like easily manage that in six months who uh, I do not think in this like modern to 2025 okay 2025 2026 who cannot earn this thing so I hope this uh, conveys you that it's manageable now those will think that it's not uh, like free those who have got doubts in their heads who think that like no it's freaking expensive because I do not know just put yourself out you will get to know about lots of things that the world is complete different thing like break your chain of the gen z's thing okay just uh, no, not you are not gen z you are like uh, um what is it uh, introvert you are introvert okay you are staying at home you are um, i don't know i don't know what to do <laughs> but anyways you know better than me so i hope i have covered like uh, a rough round um I have covered a rough roadmap for you studying medicine in english in italy and i hope like uh, you got little value out of it just comment down your query if you have got any and thumbs this video up okay like this video because in next video i'm going to bring you a complete roadmap if you're a european or non-european how to apply for it okay what is application what is pre-enrollment how to do it everything on my like screen i will be writing on my ipad and i will show it to you so you can apply that way so just uh, thumb this video up and comment down below just join if you want like i'm at information all the information regarding i'm at then i will mention a link below to an article you can go to that article you can read all the information and you can like watch all the videos will be embedded in them so you can just play one by one and you will get all the information so thanks for watching see you in next video till bye bye